Okay, normally I review software that is on Mac OS X. However, I'm reviewing a Windows program this time, and it's been a while. It's System Mechanic 14.6, which is the latest version at the time I'm making this review. It is compatible not just with XP, Vista 7 and 8. It is also compatible with the new Windows 10. As long as, you are, as, long as you're up to date and have 14.6, it is compatible with Windows 10. Here's a startup screen. You can read or watch tutorials about the program. You can see what's new in the latest version, or you can skip. Let's just skip. Okay, what is this program? It's a Windows PC system maintenance and cleanup program, and it can also help boost up the speed of your startup and your RAM by boosting and cleanup RAM. It can also clean up junk files. So you Maybe you've installed loads of programs in the past and uninstalled them and they've left files behind, etc. Now let's just take a look at it. You can repair now. It says your system is good, but if there's a lot of junk, etc., it may say that it's in a critical condition or medium, whatever. You can see over here there's a gauge, including for health, security, and overall. We're in green, there is orange, yellow, and red. We have active care, standard, or custom, or whatever you may have set it to. There's live boost, which is live all the time, constantly adjusting. That's full boost. And your service for your virus definitions, or whatever you may have, that expires whenever, and you can add more time to it. You have some hints and tips down here. You can view any problems. You can repair now. Let's have a look at problems. This says that the registry is 5% fragmented. You may want to schedule it and, re and uh, defrag your registry. Now this might be a good time to mention that when I have used, you know, quite a while now because I've been using Mac for a while, but when I used to use Windows PCs, uh, when I used these kind of programs, these system maintenance type of programs, when they would mess with the registry, either repair the registry or defrag the registry, it would almost always corrupt the registry, corrupt your Windows installation, and you'd have to format and reinstall Windows. So I was a little apprehensive about using those sort of features in System Mechanic. However, because I'm reviewing this program, I sort of gritted my teeth and uh, did it. And it actually has not messed up my, uh, well, my brother's Windows installation. This is my brother's computer. It hasn't messed up his uh, Windows 10 installation. Even though Windows 10 has just come out, it's new, and maybe not all com programs are 100% compatible. This has actually defragged the registry. It has boosted all the other options. I've pretty much turned everything on. And it's also fixed the registry and various things like that without corrupting w the Windows installation, which is quite impressive, really. If you've used lots of programs like this, you've probably had a similar experience. Let's have a look here. We have active care. We have automated tasks. This is where you can turn on and off various options. You can hit apply standard, which I believe is the option I have it on at the moment, which basically decides itself which it thinks should be on and off. So it turned those on, it turned that off. Whereas if you want to customize it, you could turn this on, for instance. But I just clicked standard and I figured I'd trust it to know what it's doing and not play around. So I've just sort of hit standard and it's adjusted them all, all automatically. But you can turn ones off you don't want and turn on ones you do want that may be off on standard. So we have optimized startup configuration. Now, optimizing startup, my brother has a really high spec gaming PC. So it hasn't made any difference. In fact, it may even slowed it down slightly. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be in my imagination. So if you have a really high-end PC, you may not want this on. Uh, he has 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM. He has a i7 Extreme, though not this generation, the last generation. And he has a quite a high-quality, expensive Samsung SSD. So you might find if you have specs like that, you may be better off just turning that off. But I've optimized, I've had it on anyway, I've optimized internet configuration. I've left that off because, like I say, I've just applied standard. I've left all the others on, which include repair conflicts, repair the registry problems, repair any broken shortcuts on your desktop, repair broken internet connection if there's a problem, it'll automatically try to reconnect. There's secure automatically, so repair, repair security vulnerabilities, 
back up your registry every 14 days so you can try and prevent having to reinstall if you do have problems maintain uh, maintenance automatically maintain automatically so do you want to clean up the system clutter do you want to download install update uh, tune up update definitions automatically or do you want to manually have to go to options and find them etc let's look at live boost real time status we can see that the maximum real time boosting is on 100% responsiveness we have power sense mode none I haven't got that on because the Samsung SSD has its own power saving sort of power a high performance power option that you can configure in Windows uh, control panel and I like using that my brother likes using it anyway and it seems to work very well so I've left the Samsung power settings set in control panel and I haven't used system mechanics uh, OptiCare, Ramjet, Accelerite and Parasense and you can see processor how much is being used uh, what's going on here 12 out of 12 cores speed same here with RAM and drives here we go is a hybrid which is his second drive we have this turned on uh, the Windows installation is in the SSD though not the hybrid and we have configuration here we have power sense switch processor settings for peak performance it will automatically adjust various things here I've just left them alone OptiCore balance the CPU demand for maximum resources and RAMjet maximize available RAM so it releases memory trapped by greedy idle programs so sometimes if a program has a bit of a leak a memory leak or whatever if you are using a high demand video editor or something like that and you dump out it may not release all the RAM and free it up for other programs to use and it will be hogging your system for no reason well this will help prevent that okay then you have Accelerite which increases system performance by minimizing random data right into the hard drives and SSDs I have that on and you see how much it's prevented manage power sense more options here for that including built-in modes and ultra performance gaming blah 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 and custom modes down here recent activity here then we get to internet internet security we have window defender has been detected and it is on so there's a tick so we have malware protection and it's found it and you can look at options here we then have firewall it is detected that we do have a firewall enabled, we have a Windows firewall enabled. You can open it, refresh, turn off. Although I think we have something other than Win I think he I think Morgan has something other than the file um, Windows built-in firewall. So I'm not sure about that, but I'll have to double check. Then we have toolbox, all in one tools. We have start PC tool care total care, or we can enable individual things such as the PC accelerator to help boost your performance. PC repair to repair any problems, PC cleanup to get rid of junk files, etc. Your PC security to check security and uh, see if you can improve it. And we have a, a thing for total registry revitalizer so we can help boost uh, the registry, you know, optimize it, clean it up, etc. And we have some of, the, some of the tools here were being listed in the other areas as a part of the other options but you can get to them individually here such as optimize your internet settings uh, customize advanced internet settings so you can really get to this sort of nitty-gritty of the internet um, settings such as configuring the MTU etc from here in the DNS we can select recommended here we can restore we can reset to Windows default etc let's just apply it we can then also realign programs on the hard drive, so basically defrag and things like that. We have a memory mechanic maximizing the free memory, which we looked over earlier in the other section. Optimize your Windows startup, find and, uninst uh, find and install new updated drivers, which is handy. Remove redundancies, defrag and compact your registry, which, like I say, is pretty impressive because it works and it hasn't and it doesn't mess up your Windows installation unlike programs I've used in the past normally anything any program any maintenance program that messes with the Windows registry messes up your installation that's not the case in System Mechanic 14.6 at least not on Windows 10 
enhance protection, fix any security vulnerabilities, back up and store your registry, block unwanted system changes, clean up clutter here and remove junk files, repair problems such as registry problems, broken shortcuts, repair your hard drive problems, create an emergency CD which is probably a good idea, uh, troubleshoot any other system problems there, personal privacy, securely erase private data and securely delete files, configure your Configure your Windows startup program so you, if you've got loads of things running in the background when you boot up your computer which is slowing down your startup you can find them here and disable them. Manage running programs. Customize advanced Windows settings. Find, find duplicate files so if you have more than one of the same file for no reason you don't need them you can find them there and delete one to save disk space. Then we have diagnostics and you monitor hard drive status for any problems. You can measure your internet security speed, various things like that here. Then we can get to reports. You can look at your hard disk space usage, system memory usage, etc. here, including internet speed. So we can see what we're going to download about 64 megabits per second, which is a little bit low perhaps because. We, I have the highest package I can get in London and that is about uh, 150 megabits a second I believe. Uh, history, generate a port of reliability and energy efficiency which is good if you're on a laptop. let's have a look under options very standard sort of stuff here there isn't really much I need to go into you can sort of check it out for yourself really you might want to say see these sort of things uh, live boost here do you want to display it in the system tray play a sound on power sense mode etc dashboard or alerts are currently configured to show view more information boot time do not start boot time actions between the hours or whatever then general pretty standard stuff like it here like what is your internet connection is it a dial-up is it broadband etc from the help menu you can look at help you can look at an introduction to the program you can check for product updates from here as well you can install onto another computer you can look at the about information so let's just look at here yep it's up to date okay so what do I think yeah it's a really handy little program it does all sorts of customization options you don't have to get into the nitty-gritty little small details you can just run the general type of repair stuff you can just analyze your computer and hit repair and let it optimize and repair using its standard sort of settings but if you want there's plenty of little options you can get right down into all the small options and customize pretty much every little part of it plus it works well it, it will even optimize and defrag your registry without breaking your windows installation and it works with windows 10 which is great it costs around 35 pounds in the uk or about 40 dollars us so it's definitely worth you at least checking out because there is a trial so you can download a trial from their website a link to their official website will be in the description along with this video so I always recommend you try out trials first so there is a trial available I do recommend you check it out it is a good system mechanic program that actually works for Windows XP to 10 Please like and comment on this video and if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe because it only took a few seconds it will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.